Hey guys, welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to basically create a like a redstone circuit where you can basically press a button and it'll activate a circuit. And if you press the same button again, it'll deactivate the circuit. So, uh, let me give you an example of it. We can either press this button here or step on this pad. And what this will do is activate all this redstone circuitry the doors open inside my little house here. Now if I press the same button again you'll see they close. Or I can press this one they open and if I press it again they close. Now what I'll do is I'll walk you through what each of the components is doing and then I'll construct one as you should build it. So this is what you will want to see for reference this here here is the sky view of it so you can see what's happening on the bottom we have our inputs and on the left we have our output okay now we'll just go back down okay so we can think of this in two bits. This is one section and this bit is the second one. Now what this first bit does is basically decrease the amount of time that the redstone is activated for. So I'll place a torch here so you can see it. Now if you look here under this torch you'll see that it's on. And if I press this button when the redstone is activated, these two torches will go off. But what you'll notice is this one comes back on a lot sooner than this one here will. So let me give you an example. Did you see that? How the one on the left came on really quickly? Now the reason for this is this is basically a signal shortener. Uh, this bit here is like an RS reset switch or something like that for those who have done electrical engineering and basically what it's doing is it remembers the state so this section here is on and this one here is off if I were to press that button they would flip over and let me walk you through it from the start so power comes on here this is the input, it goes through here, activates this segment of the circuit here, which in turn powers this bit here. Now at the same time, redstone power is also coming through here, but it's delayed through these repeaters. And when it gets to here, it turns the circuit back off. So the circuit's on, and then once the redstone signal reaches through this bit, it turns off which is why this deactivates really quickly. Now the reason we want to do that is because this will power on and off a couple of different times because of just the way that it works. So that's it for the first one. It basically just sends a quick pulse down this wire here. Now the second bit is a little more complicated. You can basically think of this as a RS NOR latch. I've done a little bit of research into this. And uh, when the pulse comes through here, if this is activated, then the door must be opened through here. So if this segment here is on, then you must open the door like this. If we send the pulse through, then you'll see that this second side has been activated. Now, I'll build it because it's going to be a lot easier to explain to you as I build it. So the first thing we want to build is the input, which can be anything buttons, redstone torches, I don't know, anything that gives out a redstone signal. So we'll place this here, and we'll put in the delay circuit, which goes down here. Four should be enough. Here. And now we'll build the latch. Do we want to 
want to go here. Now the latch is quite easy to build. You just basically have an L shape between the two blocks and place the torches facing each other like this. Then you just wire it up with the redstone. One segment will always be on and the other one will always be off. Now to show you this, this is what I mean by remembering the state. So, if we press this one, the torch should go off. There we go. That remembers the on state, even though there is no power coming through here anymore. Now, this segment here is called the reset. So, if you press this one, the torch will go back on. For number section 2 of the circuit. Section 1 and section 2. Now... If we resupply power to section 1 again, the torch should go off. So what we want to do is to make it go off automatically, but after a really short amount of time. Which is where the repeaters come in, because every time you send a signal down a repeater, it takes just a little bit of time to get through. So, now what will happen is when you press this, signal will go down here and activate the torch. And at the same time, it'll go through these repeaters and then deactivate the torch really quickly. Now you can adjust these for different amounts of time, but I suggest you just leave them on their default setting. So now if we press this, a quick pulse will go through. Oops, it was already off. So a quick pulse. See how the torch quickly pulsed? It was already in the off state. Even if we stand on it, it'll still go back on. What I'll do is I'll pause the video and restart it again when daylight's up. Okay, so it's now about midday, and we'll complete the second segment of the circuit. Now the first thing we want to do is create an inverter gate. Now we want to connect this up to two things. It'll basically be left and right, which is open and closed for the circuit. Like this. Now we want to connect this to the latch again. Here. Like this. This will remember the state of the door basically. Or in this instance, the torch. Now one side will turn it on or open and the other side will turn it off or closed like this. Now the first thing we want to do is connect this side to the other side of the circuit like this. So we have this torch connected to this side and this torch connected to this side. Now we want to tell these gates up here these OR gates, NOR gates I should say, which state the circuit's in. So for this one we want to put an inverter here, otherwise they'll both, both be basically receiving the same signal. So we just hardwired them both in like this, they would both say, oh you know, it's closed or off or on here, because that would act as an inverter. So this one here I'll put an inverter as well. And that should work. So now if I press this button, the torch should come on. And if I press it again, it should go off. There we go. So it's basically, if signal comes from here, and the signal is here, then send a pulse down here, which will reset this latch here, and activate this section which will in turn deactivate the torch no activate it sorry and again for this bit here if there's a signal down here and there's a signal from here then activate this bit which will depower this section of the circuit and make this light come on 
So I'll go press it again so it's on and you can see the other side of the circuit being activated. There we go. As you can see now this bit's activated and this bit too because it's being inverted from this bit. So to put torches on top of it you'll be able to see exactly what's happening at all states of the circuit. And I'll just make this one a little higher so you know it's unique. Like this. Okay, now you'll see all these lights. Will you see this one, these three here flash, and these three here swap over basically. So watch. There we go. And that's basically it. Now the useful bit about this circuit is you can have as many inputs as you want. So if I wanted another button over here for example, I could have one. And it does the same thing. Or if I was really cunning I could have multiple doors which I've got over here. So I just go like this and maybe even like this like this again and have as many outputs as I want which is very useful if you're using the pistons to move doors around or whatever so I'll put torches here and you'll see them all turn on there we go and back off so, if you're still a little confused, because I probably didn't explain it as best as it could have been explained, uh, do a little research on clocks, signal delays, and RS NOR latches, and it should come pretty clear after that. And, of course, you can ask in the comments. Have a great day.